Hey everybody, it's Trent again. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to modify the last um, in, in two different ways, or actually three different ways. So first we're going to do some cage edit, we're going to do some soft edit, and as well, we're going to do a flow edge. So we're going to pick up where we're kind of left off in that kind of quad last. So we've retopologized it using quad remesh, we've flattened it with the unwrap, and now we want to kind of make some modifications. So I'm going to make a group layer and kind of group everything together. Throw everything in last and I'll duplicate this object in layers so I can have a bit of fun. I'm going to change this to my mod quad last. Okay, so hide this. Go ahead and hide that one, hide my 2D. Okay, so it's kind of split right now. So I'm gonna actually kind of join these back together as kind of an open mesh. And I still have my edge lines right there as well as the UVs are kind of still set. But when I start modifying, I don't want it to kind of tear apart or anything to happen. So first one, I'm just gonna use the basic Rhino command of cage edit. Give it a bounding box. Kind of set it to this world plane and then it kind of has a default to four count and that's fine awesome so what i'll do now is i'll actually edit this i'll turn my points on and then i can see the points that it actually will edit i can kind of go back to this regular setup and what i would use this for is mainly to kind of relax a little bit more of the exterior Cage edit. Nope, not just cage. Bounding box, world, and four. That's good. Okay. So what I can do is then I can just be able to select some of these points that are a part of it. and start to make some edits. So what I would wanna do is, the reason I'm kind of keeping it is because I can kind of always come back to that original lasting. But I wanna make some modifications here so that it'll a little be, be a little bit more natural looking. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'll turn off this, go ahead, hide my cage, and I can always call that back up and make continue to make more edits. The next thing I want to show is uh, Bacha's kind of smooth edit, and it can be found in the kind of panels. So what I did was right click, go to my soft edit, I'm going to select Okay, I'm gonna select my last and then I'll hit edit. So it makes this a little bit different than just editing the points is that it'll kind of edit more of a generalized area around it. So something like similar to what you would find in uh, Blender. So we'll be working with grips, which is a little different than points. So what I'll have is I'll activate a grip and you can see that the heat map is activated in the colors, if I change it to selected, this is kind of telling me what uh, points are affected. And as well, I can adjust, I can go way down or I can kind of scroll and get more of a selected. So obviously I'm wanting to affect this heel to either be obviously coming out a little bit more naturally um, as well as it's gonna be affecting the cage, um, but that's okay. And the next thing I want to do is maybe kind of push this uh, this kind of piece down a little bit. And, and you can select multiple uh, points. And if I wanted to change like the orientation, I can change the gumball to maybe to view. And then it follows more naturally whichever way the camera is facing. And I can scroll up to get more of an affected area. And then I can kind of push it down. 
Maybe I want to select a point in the middle. It's a little bit more natural. Cool. I'm going to turn points off. And there we go. So I've kind of opened it up. And if I open up this and kind of go back to that quad last, we can see the difference, that the changes that we've made. The UV would stay the same. And we can make that change here in a little bit. But the next thing I want to show is actually affecting this kind of 2D uh, piece. So I'm going to say show. And I can see now that I have this kind of 2D kind of piece onto it. What I'll do now is I'm going to, I have a kind of a sketch uh, of a shoe and a vector format. So then I'll kind of bring this in. I actually want to just import it. And then keep the scale from millimeters to unit, as well as boundary curves. And I don't really care about text. So I'll say OK. Cool. And as you can see, a series of lines came in. And this is why I kind of grouped it. So I'll do the same. I'll say that this is my pattern. And move everything underneath there. So that when I toggle this off, I can see my entire pattern. If I go to the top view, it'd be a little easier. And I'm going to make some adjustments into it. So I kind of have like a rough center line. A couple parts will make a vamp, some holes uh, for the laces, as well as the tongue and maybe a webbing. So the first thing I want to do is then I'll select everything and kind of make a rotation. I'm going to go ahead and turn my on snap. So that can kind of help me grab some pieces. And there we go. And I can kind of turn these ones off. And I'll duplicate this as well, because I'll make some edits to it. OK. Perfect. I'll turn the pattern off. And now I just have this kind of replicated last or replicated vamp. So for this next piece, we'll be using the uh, B flow edge command, but I need to make some edits to this. So first thing I'll do is run the split, drop the point and kind of make some cuts. So now I have this kind of overarching piece in the front and then a couple heel pieces in the back. The throat, um, since the last is a little different than what the, our pattern is, I'm just going to remove that. And then I'm going to turn back the last that I have. I'm going to grab these guys, maybe move it up. And then I'll move that 2D last uh, kind of flattened into position. In a rough, it doesn't have to be perfect. So to actually get um, the flow edge, to run correctly, I need at least three inputs. So what I'll do is I'll start the command, B flow edge. I'm gonna start with the biggest first. So I'm gonna select that entire kind of outer piece. And I do have a uh, delete input to no and accuracy to 50. So usually these can be set, uh, zero would be no accuracy, 100% would be very accurate. Deleting the input would get rid of what I actually have. And I'll turn that on to yes. So now what I need to do is, uh, since I made that one change, I need to select my edge, and then I'll ask what curve I want, and then I'm gonna grab that corresponding curve, do the same, to this kind of heel, grab this curve, and grab this edge, and this curve. And then you can see at the bottom it is running, and it is gonna flow. And that's it. So now what I have is that the actual pattern is going to be able to fit a little bit better to this kind of uh, area so that I can kind of get it to map the way that I would want. So those are the three pieces. Super easy. Bringing in a pattern, doing the flow edge, 
being able to use uh, soft edit to make some adjustments um, as well as a cage edit to make the allotment for the uh, for the heel or for the ankle as well so check it out give it a shot all right